Assalamu alaikum. My name is Adina Khan. I am reading in class 6 alpha. Today my topic is set. A set is a collection of well-defined and distinct objects. The object in set is called its elements or members. There are two properties of set, well-defined and distinct. Well-defined means that the thing is clearly defined. And distinct means that the elements of set are not repeated and they are different. Forms to describe a set. There are mainly two forms to describe a set. Descriptive form and tabular form. Descriptive form is that in which, the, in which we describe the property of a set in statement. For example, I write set A is equal to set of whole numbers. Tabular form is that in which we write the elements in curly brackets and separate each element with comma. Set B is equal to 1, 2, 3 and up to so on. Types of set. There are many types of set. First of all, finite set. A set having finite number of elements in it is called finite set. For example, English alphabets from A to Z. Set C contains A, B, C and to Z. Infinite set. A set having infinite number of elements in it is called infinite set. For example, D is equal to 1, 3, 5 and up to so on. It is infinite set. Next, empty and singleton set. A set which contains no element in it is called empty set. And a set having a single element in it is called singleton set. Equal set. Two sets are called equal when their elements are same. Set A is consisting A, B, and C. Set B is consisting C, B and A. Both sets are, have same elements. These are equal sets. Equivalent set. Two sets are called equivalent if and only if there is a correspondence established between them. Set A contains 1, 2, 3 and 4. Set B contains A, B, C and D. There is a correspondence between each element of both sets. It will make equivalent sets, non-equivalent sets. Non-equivalent sets are those if and only if there is not a correspondence between them. If I add an element in set B, like E, there is no correspondence for E. It is non-equivalent set. Subset and superset. If each element of set A is also an element of set B, then set A is called subset and set B is called superset. Set A contains 1, 2, 3, 4. Set B contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Set A is called subset and set B is called superset. Thanks.